Hi guys, today I'm going to show you guys how I sketch out a cat. It's similar to episode one of the dogs, but you guys want to see a fuzzy cat, so. I'm on a 2500 by 2500 canvas, and I inserted my pictures, my cat Vera. And we're gonna use the Procreate brush that comes with it in the sketching section, the 6B pencil is what I like to use. Have it on black. And I like to turn this down, let's see, about 34%. You want to take your picture layer and put the opacity down to about 75% and you create a new layer. I like to start on the left side with the ear and I just go around the ear. Now the parts where the hair comes out, I'm gonna leave a little break right there and then I'll go down because then we can add some little fuzzes out like this. Oops. And then I go down this side and I add a couple, I leave some breaks and I add a couple little fuzzies, just like we did with the fuzzy dog. And I go over here and I leave some breaks in the sketch. I don't just do a solid line, but the, if they're super fuzzy like this, so you want to show the fuzzes and then I go up this way and again she has some puffy hair right here so I'll leave a little break in that and we'll add a couple little fuzzy hairs coming out and I go over to this side same thing leave some breaks do some fuzzies and I like to do just the head and chest but you can do the feet and stuff too so I'm gonna go this way and then I'm going to do the inside of her ear. And then I'm going to add some lines. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm going to sketch the inside of the ear. And I'm going to add some lines. So it gives the illusion of the long hairs. And then I'm going to do her eyebrows. And I'm going to go to the left eye over here. And I'm going to add some fuzzy texture around her eye. And then I'm going to, if you want pure white, you just go to classic and go all the way to the top left. And I'm going to add her eye glare in. And then I'm going to use my selection tool. I'm going to use the freehand selection tool and I'm just going to selection tool that eye then hit copy and paste and then take my arrow tool make sure it's on uniform flip horizontally and I'm just going to drag it right over here so that way you have two eyes really quick and you don't have to do the eye twice okay and then I'm going to move on to the nose And then I'm gonna do her little mouth. So if you want to just leave this as a sketch, you can sketch it like this, but if you're gonna be coloring it in, like we did in episode two, you would color it in and then erase some of the lines we do so that way it's not so harsh. Which we'll, I'll do that next episode, I'll show you how we can color her in. Way. Get some of her definition here. Cats usually have a lot more texture and freckles and color patterns than dogs do, so you can go crazy with sketching every single little one. But I usually only do a couple, and then when you, if you color it in, then you can just add the colors in there without overwhelming it with all your sketches on here. Get her little nose definition. And then add some freckles. Get her little 
chin. Little nose right here. Let's see. Let's see what pink. Okay. And then kind of goes this way. Like that. And since her chin's super fuzzy, we're going to do lines and then breaks in the lines to show fuzz coming through it. Lines and then breaks in the lines. And then we want to show the definition of her hair over here. Show this is where her head is. And you want to block out, so when you're doing long fur, you just block out the very tips of some of the fur, the most prominent furs here. Just block out the ends, these pieces. And then you can add lines closer up to give the illusion of that's where the hair is. So we're just going to black out some of these long hairs. In the direction that they're going. Hers is pretty easy because it's kind of choppy. So it's easy to see right where the very tips of each one of these fur clumps are. Let's add a little bit over here. Like that. And then have some long ones coming out. And you can always add these little lines. Pretty good. Goes in a little bit right here. Like that. And then turn off your layer one. And then you can, so every time you do a selection tool, it makes a new layer. So you can combine those by pulling them together, swiping left and duplicating that, and I'll make it darker. And then you can duplicate that too. And then you have your fuzzy cat. Let's make sure we add our whiskers in there too. So I'm gonna create a new layer for the whiskers just in case. And her whiskers are white, so if you're coloring this in, you don't have to draw them with the black pencil. You could just wait to do it with the white liner brush. But since this one's just the sketch, we're gonna do it with this. And I'm gonna make the brush a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to just trace over her whiskers. if you hold your brush down at the end, it will move like this in a shape. So that way you can easily do that if you're not steady handed. And you don't have to get all the whiskers, you just wanna get some of them to show where they're going. And then I'm going to duplicate that layer. I'm going to selection tool it with the uniform and I'm going to flip it horizontally. And I'm just going to plop that right over there. And then she has a couple, she has, I can't really see them, but she has some long ones on her eyebrows. So I'm just going to do a couple long ones up here for her eyebrows. And then turn off your back layer. And then combine the whisker layers. And you can duplicate that. And there she has her whiskers.